The very shape of these are like that of a predator bird. To the eye of the woodpecker, this yellow beach ball looks like a menace. To the eye of NASA, a dream come true. Earlier this month, the agency had to scrap a space shuttle launch after woodpeckers chipped away at insulation on the shuttle's fuel tank. 180 holes, $3 million in damage. Some of the nation's leading scientists were stumped at how to keep the pesky peckers away, but not Jack DePorton. So the next Monday, I UPS two units down to him. For the last eight years, he's been selling the predator eyes, mostly to farmers trying to keep birds from their crops. The woodpecker thinks it's coming there to eat them, to attack them. Jack says the key is the movement of the tail and the evil reflection in the aluminum eyes. So what did NASA have to say? He said it's fantastic, they're working, they're just overjoyed. And so when the shuttle rolled back out to the launch pad today, it had one of Jack's trusty balloons tied to the nose. A little glory for Jack and his son. He also saved us taxpayers a few bucks in the process. So it's $14.95 versus $3 million. Something like that, That's yeah. a pretty good deal. I'd say so. By government standards. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I, besides, I gave them to the government. <laughs> for free. Yeah, I didn't charge them. With talk for Bob Davidson, Tom Lydon, Minnesota 9 News. With math, math like that, we're going to send him to Washington. And we understand that he found these on a buying trip to Japan and now holds the North American distribution rights. If you're looking for predator eyes, you can find them at most Hirschfield stores and at some Bachmann's. Well, the weather's coming up next, so...